Welcome to week seven. This is a pivotal point for us as we look at what we've learned so far and take a quick assessment on it. So this week it will include taking an exam. The exam covers chapters one, two, three. We did not do much on four, so don't worry about chapter four. Chapter five, chapter six has not been covered yet, and then chapter seven, eight, nine. So you're looking at seven chapters, one, two, three, five, seven, eight, nine. Seven chapters. I put an exam review up. It is not exhaustive, and I stated that in the description of that link in Blackboard, but it is a great way to begin thinking about what you need to study and begin looking at as you prepare for the exam. The exam consists of about 25 multiple choice questions in the same type of format that you're used to that you've seen in the quizzes. And it does also consist of about three short answer questions. The expectation is that those short answer questions will be excellent responses in that you will respond to the question, which usually includes defining what's being asked of you. Um, then you will go into an example that supports that and then why this example supports that definition. So basically supporting your own position. If you do that and do it well, um, you should do really well on this exam, looking at the exam review and thinking through the short answer questions. The biggest dilemma that I see students have is they spend way too much time on the multiple choice questions and don't give enough time for the short answer or vice versa. So my strong words of encouragement to you are be prepared for this exam when you open the window and you get ready to start it so that you understand how you're going to approach the exam and don't run out of time because you only have 75 minutes to complete this exam and then it will shut down. The exam is due next Tuesday night by 11 p.m. If you start the exam at 10.30, you will only have 30 minutes to complete this, the exam because it will force a closure or completion. So make sure you're ready. It's password protected in that I want to, you to make sure you don't accidentally click on the link and get started without meaning to. The only other thing you have on your plate that you need to finish up is your case analysis on should we try to make more money regarding Southwest Airlines dilemma. That is in week six and I have had some questions on it and I would invite more questions and conversation. It's very important that we develop your critical thinking skills so that you can go out in the career or in your workplace and make really good decisions. That is something that will set you apart from your peers and really put you in a position to accelerate your progression up in the company and to higher positions. So please talk to me if you have any questions about that. Good luck on your exam and finish up your case analysis. Both are due next week. If you have questions, let me know. Thanks.